Hey everyone, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome to another episode of My Bed. Hey everyone, happy Halloween. I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I am doing my last horror game spotlight of the month and it was really, really difficult for me to choose which game, but I, I had to go with my gut I had a lot of suggestions from people, but I had to go with my gut and pick a game that means a lot to me, like a lot, a lot, and is probably one of the finest examples in the genre, in my opinion, in my opinion. So today I'm going to be doing my spotlight on a really awesome psychological art horror game by Tale of Tales that came out on the Mac and PC, The Path. The Path is a psychological horror art game by Tale of Tales and was heavily influenced by folklore like Little Red Riding Hood, but set in a contemporary time. In this game, you can choose to play as one of six sisters and are sent out to visit your sick grandmother. The cool thing about this game is that you can choose to either stay on the given path or venture out into the dangerous woods. Staying on the path will keep you safe from danger, but it's made intentionally boring to coerce you into taking that leap. It might appear straightforward, but it's anything but. While you're in the forest, you can find hidden items that resemble different things for each girl, as well as run into the wolf, which is personified differently depending on the girl. This game isn't meant to outright scare you, but sets a surreal lynching atmosphere full of symbolism. It gets under your skin in the most subtle ways and tells you a story without really telling you. The path serves no one meaning, as it's very much up to your own experience. It takes chances very few horror games bother to take, which is a shame considering how much can be achieved by showing so little. The path is incredibly powerful and unsettling, serving as one of the finest examples in its genre. So I really hope you enjoyed my spotlight on the path and I really hope you check it out. This game was released in 2009 and you can just find it if you search for it online. I'll post a link below for you as well. If you really liked uh, my spotlight series, then please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to keep going with this because it's been really fun and there's been a lot of games that have been unnoticed. Of course, there's going to be uh, really popular horror games that you're going to hear of Silent Hill, Resident Evil, and you know, the list goes on, but I really wanted to give some of these other games a bit of attention, games that are maybe more subtle, more experimental, or just not well known, <laughs> not well known. Um, so I definitely want to keep going with this, um, not just in the horror game genre, but in other genres too. So if you are interested in seeing more of these, please let me know and let me know what other genres you'd like to see me tackle as well because this has been really fun and I think I finally found like a calling for a series I really want to keep up. So I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you check out the game and I hope you have an awesome day. Alright, peace.